Okay, we are going to find the volume of this number cube by a method called displacement. And Miss Willem is helping me, and Miss Fisher, and Miss Kloss. And what we have to do to find the volume of this cube is we have to fill our graduated cylinder up to an even number so it's very easy to find. And what do we say that is right there? 50? Yes. Okay, what's the bottom of our meniscus? Yeah, yeah, give it, do, give it a little bit more. It looks like it's about 49. Oh, 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 do the, do the, um, yeah, pipe it. There we go. Just a tad bit more. There we go. That looks really good. All right, so then. What we do, we started out with 50 milliliters in here, okay? Now we're gonna take our number cube and drop it in. So if somebody can tilt drop it in. It. Oh yeah, tilt, tilt it and slide it. So we don't just drop it and make a big splash. Okay, so it was at 50. Okay, so now we've dropped in our number cube. And what we have to do is come over here and take a reading on our volume next. It looks to me like that. Bottom of the meniscus is right at 53 milliliters, okay? So we started out with 50. We put the number cube in and now it's 53. So how do we find our volume of our um, number cube? All right, so now it's at 53 milliliters. And we subtract what it was originally, which was 50 milliliters. And that equals to, difficult math here, three milliliters. So the volume of our number cube is three milliliters. And that's how we find volume of an object through displacement. Thank you, ladies. Okay, this time we're gonna find the volume of an object that will float. In other words, it is not as dense as water, so when we put it in there, it's just gonna float. Now, if it's not completely covered with water, how do you find its volume? Well, we'll show you. Okay, so we're gonna take this cork and uh, put it in, so who wants to do that? We start with oh yeah yeah we got to figure out where we are thank you all right let's take a look here the bottom of our meniscus is right at 70 milliliters okay good all right all right so what you do here let me let me get up there closer so they can see all right see how the cork is floating and that's not going to give us an accurate measurement of the volume so what we have to do is push it down totally in the water with something and Miss Gloss is going to use the pipette that we were using to fill it up with okay so she's going to push it down and right when it's just under the water now we're going to take a measurement Oops. yeah you kind of have to put it just right under the water really? okay bring it up just a tiny bit it's yeah, it's hard to do So you just have to try it. There. Okay. We'll go with that. So I'm going to say the bottom of our meniscus right there is at 75. Wouldn't y'all agree? 75 yes. milliliters? Okay. So now let's do our math. Okay. We started with at 75 milliliters after we pushed the cork down in. And we started with 70 milliliters. So we subtract, and our cork has a volume of 5 milliliters. And that's how you find the volume of an object that floats in the water.